Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out, then. The problem with your orbs is gone. I took care of it. Good, good. God knows, with all that's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. The boss is giving you trouble. What? Oh, that. No, the trouble state police. They're pushing us out of the Razika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not Dubai? Forget Dubai. MacReady's handling it. Good. Thought I'd have to fight him to let me handle this one. Whoever planted those bombs yesterday has a lot to answer for. Agreed. And we have to find out who they are before the state police fuck up our crime scene. You said they're trying to push us out? I sent Fletcher in this morning to oversee evidence collection. Seems he's being detained because he hasn't checked in since. They can't lock us out. The Czech Republic signed our UN mandate agreement. They gave us jurisdiction over terrorist investigations. Yeah, well, the former director of their security information services runs state police now. He's come up with a loophole, claiming this attack falls under the homegrown terror exemption. Homegrown? He's saying it's ARC? The Augmented Rights Coalition? I don't care what he's saying. He may even be right. I just want us in there so we can find out. So where do I start? Technically, you're supposed to speak to our psychologist before getting back into action. I don't need a shrink. Convenient, because she's not in the office right now, and I don't want to waste any more time. So how do I get to Rizika? Public transportation's not stopping there. It will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Good luck, Agent. Jensen. I think Singh's got some kind of adrenaline addiction. He plays it too close to the edge. Agent Jensen! Agent Singh. Wasn't expecting to see you again. In civvies, at least. Just passing through. I wanted to thank your team for the backup in Dubai. That sting went to hell faster than the storm did. You're welcome. But I don't think you came all this way to say thanks. Director Miller asked me to get Agent McCready up to speed. Now I have the red-eye flight back to Oman. Headed into the field office there? Not exactly. One of our black sites. I'll be dropped in as a captured enemy combatant. After I contact my fellow Jin prisoners, I shall lead a very convenient escape. Re-embedding with the Jin. Aren't you taking a big risk, given everything that happened? Eh, no choice. That ambush knocked everyone on their asses. TF-29, Bell Tower, the Jin. To cover all the angles, I need to go back. Hopefully my cover is still good. You killing the signal booster at the hotel should help. You're thinking the Jin can get a beat on our gate crashers faster than TF-29? Perhaps. They do not like loose ends. An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? 
Yeah, it was. But it's a long story. Did we get anything out of the cleanup operation? Mostly corpses. Heavily augmented, as you know. Under those gold masks, they were ID scrubbed. No prints, no dentals, no DNA match. Professional. Could still be ex-Bell Tower. Plenty of men and material went AWOL after the incident. A competing faction that listened in on Shepard's sale. It's a possibility. The audits and investigations of Bell Tower will go on for years before we know how many rats jump from that ship. At least we recovered the weapons. Unlisted. High spec. Military grade augmentation. Enough to build another couple of you. That... that is a joke. Right. It's the world we live in. Anyone with an exemption to the weaponized augment ban is a useful tool. Or a terrorist. Whoever they were, they knew exactly when the deal was going down. Any chance they were based locally, in Dubai? No. After the incident, Dubai became the world's most luxurious tombstone. Perfect for the Jinn, but for no one else. I thought human augmentation was frowned on in the Middle East. Why was Dubai hit so hard? Because it was another world. Two other worlds, in fact. One of extreme augmentations in gold or crystal and one of thousands of workers outfitted for construction. Then, that day. I know. No, Agent Jensen, you could not. Some called it divine punishment. But that day was not the work of a merciful God. I don't envy what you've got ahead of you. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. The truth is, when you've been under for long enough, you only feel like an imposter out here. In the real world. Yeah, I understand the feeling. The I'm scheduled to return from the dead at 0 30 on Manny time. Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Singh's cover with the Jin is still intact. I'm hoping, once he's back in Basra, he can use his network to dig around. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Ah, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen. And I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. Come on, McCready. We're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose collar it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen, I know I come off strong. I've got three ex-wives that'll back that up. But that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys isn't gonna change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Good. So when I say I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai, you can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is, we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, 
That's what I heard too. So then you know what I know. That everything? How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not gonna make us friends, Jensen. But I'll humor you, fine. I joined regular army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25 and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. Oh yeah, it's very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, after 12 years hunting terrorist shipbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So, I quit. So what brought you back to the life? Oh, I suppose it was purpose. A tool without a job to do can only grow rust. So, here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. It is Jensen. I'm scheduled to return from the dead. I guess the transit authority isn't in as much of a hurry as you are. I've run DNA checks through all the alphabet. Agent Jensen, nothing. I had better get back to snowing. Not totally overrun. There was another attempt to breach our firewall last night. The last team walked straight into an ambush. Last night, the collective published the tax return. Jensen, we need. Oh, my God, Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him. Tell him it's just. It's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up in telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown. But if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. You got an ammo in this hacker? At first I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus' style to leave crumbs this big. But whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... Oh my god, Jensen. Maybe Janus knows already. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that. I get nervous enough as it is. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are... TF-29 likes its privacy. Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess? We dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof. No Christmas party. I need you to find out as much as you can about our Snoop. Make sure we're not in danger. Alright, you have any leads? 
I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Hall Avenue. Just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day. Probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment. Access the computer they used and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. Shouldn't you be out there tracking down whoever tried to hack into us? You said some hacker has been getting too close to the task force. What is it you need me to do exactly? I gave you the address of where the hack's been coming from. I need you to find out who's doing this. Figure out what they know and what they want. Remember, if the location of the task force is exposed, none of us are safe. As soon as I know something, so will you. Be careful out there. Fucking job. Who the fuck are you? Oh my god. Hey Adam. Hey Adam, hang on a sec. Filling out supply request forms for McCready and his boys is tedious as hell, but I don't want to give him another reason to say no. Say no to what? Are you kidding me? Right now, you're the only active augmented agent we have. I'm hoping to change that, been asking him every week practically, but so far, permission denied. Really? He give you a reason? Says my stress levels are too high. Told me I should sign up for meditation classes and drag Chang in with me so he'd chill out and stop changing security codes all the time. It sucks, because I really wanted to find out who those crashers in Dubai were. You were saying your stress levels were affecting your chances of becoming a field agent. Why is that? I have a rare resistance to neuropazine. I need more than the average person, especially in stressful situations. They say I'd be too expensive, so it's not just discrimination that would be easier to deal with. It's a combination of things. Well, that combination of things is pretty bad in Prague, and getting worse. I know. But Interpol was the only agency who would give me a chance, and this is where I was assigned. I have no problem with that. I'll take whatever they throw at me. Good. It took me months of rehabilitation, getting used to the new arm, learning how to shoot again, learning how to tie my own boots. But I did it, and I'm better than I was before. I want to help, and I can. My place is out there in the field where I can make a difference. You know that. And if you can do it, so can I. Don't give up, Arya. Semper Fi. Oorah. I still can't believe Miller gave the gold mask case to McCready. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. You were there, too. You're probably as pissed about those guys getting the drop on the team in Dubai as McCready is. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Agent Singh might have been killed. After the bombing, when Chang changed all the locks and codes, was he under orders? Was there a credible threat to our location? Maybe. But I don't think so. You know how he gets. Still, he wasn't the only one overreacting this time. A lot of people have been here for over 36 hours, and the state police have not exactly been cooperative. I can imagine. It took several hours before we got the security footage from the train station and the surrounding streets. It's like they don't trust Interpol. It's weird. I can almost understand Chang's paranoia. Well, Chang doesn't trust anyone. Especially anyone in law enforcement. Well, if you thought he was high-strung before, the attack only made him more manic. He's making connections no one else sees, and some that may not be there. Explosions tend to damage things like sensitive electronic equipment. Right? Try telling him that. Well, I better let you get back to work. Yeah, sure. Talk to you later.
Hey, Adam. from the whisper chip we got something but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies so they aren't getting deciphered correctly can you fix it I'm a pilot not a programmer I can do it but it's gonna take some time what's wrong with him sorry if I was rude before if the store had been empty. We all have our roles to play, Sedlak. How's yours going? It is giving me new respect for criminals who run front operations. Late shipments, supply problems, random police searches at customs. Ugh. I thought this store was just a front. Best Front is a real company. Prahadovos is registered as an international shipping corporation in every country in the EU. I can get an office, way station, or depot up and running anywhere in Europe within 72 hours. I do not suppose you spoke to Agent Chang while you were down there. He told me you've been hacked. I'm looking into it. Good. I will sleep better knowing an experienced field agent is on the case. Anything you can tell me about this hack? Chang will know more than me. I just told him something strange was going on. Utility statements being accessed, incomplete information on orders, that kind of thing. The kind of thing that's easy to miss. Surprised you noticed it. When you have been doing this as long as me, you start to question every little thing. Plus, that old lady kept coming around. Old lady? Chatty thing. I thought she was just lonely, until I caught her staring at the terminal when my back was turned. Did you confront her about it? I told Chang. Asked him to put a field agent on it. Field agent? We both know the deal, Jensen. There are two types of agents in this office. The ones who do the footwork and work the leads, and the ones who analyze them. And you think Chang's one of those? I think Chang lives in his head too much. He's good. He's very good. But it is also good that the task force brought in a new psychologist this month. Well, I'd better get going. I'll let you know if I find anything. Do not tell me, tell Chang. I have a cover to keep. I'm glad you were not hurt in the bombing yesterday, Agent Jensen. The task force needs good men like you. Thanks, Sedlak. Take care. Take my advice. If you were thinking about shipping something with me. Už jsi byl za kapitánkou. Aha. Guns for a good price. Come on in. Weapons for sale. Can't believe a word they say.
That horrible day two years ago when all the people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing. I cannot speak for you folks, but terrifying memories of that day will haunt me. It will certainly be a while before any of us forget it. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pike. You interested in some merchandise? Initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Samizdat. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? I'm not sure. They're hiding somewhere in the sewers, in the Davni district. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. Everyone is doing it. Why not me? Have a nice day. Stop. Identification, please. No, we have that. We with these arms. Okay. It's like stepping back in time. Even the owner is an antique. I did go in. I could simply believe it. Spanish flu. That's impossible. We eradicated Spanish flu decades ago. Until yesterday, I would have agreed with you. But I've got a dead four-month-old boy whose cells are telling me something different. If it were making a comeback, the CDC would have told us. And VersaLife would already be manufactured. I think I'm lost. Don't be paranoid. I couldn't imagine what it's like to be augmented. I heard a bunch of runaways live down in the sewers. From their own little community. Are you sure? I don't know. I do not I think read a couple of their tracks. I don't really understand what they're trying to say. I don't usually blurt out my political views to people on the streets, but I just want you to know. What they are doing to you, Come on, Augs, you know how this it is horrible. Whatever. Looks like a... Telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. They speak the truth. You sure it's not in your head, brother? agenda, big global impact story, then segue into earthquakes and close, follow up on Dubai, and finish with war. What are we proud of this? Don't shoot! Shit. We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base. The, the, the clones, the, the clones on the moon base, who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and, the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. I 
I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in the commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Well, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sammy's dad isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's dad is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it, we get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's... there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be the Prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. The editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. I need you to stop looking into Prahadovos, but not for the reason you assume. Well, relax, I get it. Well, you don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Oh, okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy. Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Prahadovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. Fair enough. But there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is. 
or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation everywhere. Before you get people killed. Okay, maybe I don't have all the facts yet, I'll give you that, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. That's why you always have to keep digging. The truth, the real truth. It's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Whatever the cost, is that it? You want to be better than Pikus, right? But what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Praha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Praha Dovos. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. I've got my own troubles to contend with. And so will you if I find out you compromised me. Sam, right, what do you got for me? Took care of Sam as that. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts. I know what I'm doing. All kinds. Isn't it just all for? Can't take that kickback. Missing anything? Good morning. 